Is this video claiming to show 100,000 stampeding ducks for real? Or is this dubious duck video just some more internet quackery? I've got the answer to that dandy little duck debate, plus decisions on a whole bunch of other very mysterious photos and videos that you guys sent in. Like this picture claiming to show a building made entirely out of ice, a photo of a strange creature that looks like some kind of alien fish with tentacles, a photo claiming to show the Sphinx of ancient Egypt covered in snow, and that doesn't even include our big story this week, which, if it turns out to be true, is going to make me seriously consider beefing up my anti-zombie arsenal. Could this video claiming to be leaked evidence of a secret FBI zombie hazard unit be for real? This show's going to blow the lid off everything you thought you knew about The Walking Dead, so don't go away. <laughs> Hey guys, Bill here. You know, I've always been a big fan of zombie movies and TV shows. Like World War Z with Brad Pitt. Now that's a movie. Then there's The Walking Dead about some folks trying to survive a zombie apocalypse. The first zombie movie was White Zombie, which was released in 1932. But I think everybody agrees the best zombie movie ever was Night of the Living Dead. Now, as long as zombies are just fictional characters in movies, you know, I'm fine with that. But when you guys start sending me pictures and videos that claim to show real zombies, then I get worried. Thankfully, most of the evidence that comes in is, hmm, how do I say this? Oh, I know. So, so fake, fake, it's, it's funny. funny. Like this video sent in by Johnny Roro, supposedly showing a zombie in Scotland. Following their trail, when suddenly he came across a lone figure sneaking around the gravestones. He gave chase and quickly closed in on the graveyard trespasser. The person's face seemed genuinely bloodless and pale. But even if there was a real news channel called Euro Channel 3 News, which there isn't, I still wouldn't believe it. Or how about this one sent in by two pack of bananas, Saya here, Sahabuddin, and Game Force. I think I saw that mask on sale after Halloween for like, you know, $2. And since when did zombies start wearing Freddy Cougar masks? I gotta tell you, you know, I spend most of my time having a good laugh when this stuff comes in, but then a video like this one comes in. It's called Zombie Apocalypse Leaked Secret FBI Meeting, a must see. It was sent in by Joshua Humphreys, who just asked, Bill, are zombies real? Well, Joshua, I gotta tell you, you know, this is a really scary video for one reason and one reason only, and that is, if the FBI has truly a team dedicated to fighting zombies, then that means zombies really exist. So we better take a closer look at this one and see what's going on here. On first look, it looks like the video was made by a YouTube channel called Real Talk Radio with Dan Lane. But further research finds it was originally posted by a channel called Ex Cogitosum under the title Zombie Cover-Up Conspiracy. Most of you have never heard of the Zombie Hazard Unit. Those of you who have will try in vain to find me after you see this. The This is a secretly recorded briefing of the Zombie Hazard Unit. All right, take your seats, everyone. We need to get this meeting started. Before we begin, I'm going to make sure that everybody has picked up their copy of the briefing notes or more details. I'm going to give you the outline. In the center, we see a computer display with a zombie hazard unit logo. And the guy giving the briefing is talking about something called the National Security Order 21-Z. National Security Order 21-Z, it passed. Our operational authority is supreme. Use it. 
What he's getting at is that he wants the team to use their new, more powerful operational authority as quickly as they can. As you know, we've been battling a unique biological threat and we've made little progress. Lack of any live specimens. If a body's found at all, it's already permanently dead. The speaker orders the team to track down anything that fits the zombie profile and try to apprehend it. If they can't do that, they're to use their operational authority to destroy it. We now have research notes from a top U.S. scientist who is intimately familiar with a zombie infection. He has identified and named the virus, Cryptonecrophagia vulgaris, CNV. It's a retrovirus and there's no cure. The rest of the meeting covers other problem areas like how the virus is spread and their biggest problem, which is a leak that threatens to expose the team. Right now, John Q. Public does not know what's happening. We'd like to keep it that way. This briefing is adjourned. Thank you. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Hmm, I don't know. I mean, what are you guys thinking out there? I mean, I know for me, I haven't seen a zombie personally, so I'm gonna have issues in that department. But if it turns out that this video is real and there really is an FBI unit dedicated to fighting zombies, then we gotta start preparing for the worst, okay? Now, I do have an official answer here. But if you watch this show regularly, you know, not even a zombie apocalypso can get me to tell you what's in here before you tell me what you got going on up there, okay? Now, when I say go, what I want you to do is yell out as loud as you can, either real or fake. Now, if you can't do that, it's okay to pause the video, go to the comment section, leave your answer down there, then come back here and play the rest of the video to see if you're right or not. A third way to go is just to vote right up here. But before you do vote today, I think there's one more important piece of information that you need to consider. In researching this story, we also learned that an official U.S. government agency called the Center for Disease Control, or CDC, has a webpage dedicated to zombie preparedness. This is no joke, it really exists. Here is the page, and look right here at the web address. That is the official internet address for the CDC. Bottom line, you might want to think very carefully before casting your vote today, all right? Okay, you ready? All right, let's do it and go. Okay, did you vote? Good, because in just a few seconds, we're going to be opening the official envelope and finding out whether that FBI team really exists or not. But before we do that, I've got a couple other rather mysterious photos and videos I want to take a look at. First up is this photo claiming to show a building made entirely out of giant blocks of ice. It was submitted by A.J. Smith, who wants to know, is this real or fake? Well, AJ, you better keep your long underwear on if you visit this place because it is real. Kurt Anthony Z. Suiko and the ever-dependable Isaac Sisson were the first to point out that this photo is from the Harbin International Snow and Ice Festival held every winter in Harbin, China. Hundreds of these amazing buildings and giant sculptures are constructed from huge blocks of ice cut from the nearby Songhua River. It's a winter spectacle that has to be seen to be believed. Next up is a photo of what looks like some kind of bizarre creature from your worst nightmare. Brianna Britt sent this in and asked, I found this on the web. It said it was an alien fish. It has arms and legs. Are these things for real? Well, Brianna, although that thing looks like it comes from outer space, it actually comes from right here on planet Earth. But was it like somebody cooked up something in rubber? Or is that a real creature? Well, guess what? If you voted real, you, you got another thing coming because it is real. As T. Fook Nguyen, Sean Allen, and many others pointed out, this rarely seen creature is known as a bearded sea devil. This one was caught by a Russian fisherman named Roman Ferdotsov, 
who's gotten internet famous for the photos he takes of the strange undersea creatures he pulls up from the Barents Sea. Our final photo is this amazing image of a snow-covered sphinx sent in by Anna Kolstrup, who wrote, Hey Bill, is this real or not? Anna, as it turns out, when we did the research, we uncovered the fact that there was a freak snowstorm in Cairo in 2013. So, if you voted real, you're probably going to be in the winner's circle, but I just want to double check here. Yep, that's right. It's fake. We have the hoax-busting site, Snopes.com, to thank for answering this one. Although the photo itself is real, the claim that this is a real Sphinx in Egypt covered in snow is fake. The Sphinx in the picture is actually just a small-scale replica that can be found at the Tobu World Square theme park in Japan. And that's a place where it does snow. Okay, so now that we got all those little curiosities out of the way, what do you say we get back to the big story here? Because this happens to be one of the biggest stories we've done here. Because if this FBI unit is real and there are real zombies like sneaking up on us that, you know, they're trying to keep a secret for right now. I mean, this is going to be huge. So let's get right to it. The video claiming to be leaked footage of an elite task force embedded deep within the FBI called the Zombie Hazard Unit has been carefully examined by the Bills Channel fact-checking team. Based on careful analysis of all the evidence at our disposal, we have reached a decision. And the decision is... Are you ready? Keep your doors locked, because here we go. It's 100%, without a doubt, and beyond any question. Woo! Fake. Oh. As it turns out, this video is nothing more than an advertisement for a fictional book series called Dr. Eve Zombie Killer. If you watch the video carefully, the presenter tells the group about the book. The story is Dr. Eve Zombie Killer is presented as a fictional novel. LabyrinthofArts.com is an independent website where the book can be found. Now, as far as that CDC webpage goes, that one that was dedicated to zombie preparedness, we contacted the CDC to fact check this, and what we got back from them was this statement, and I'm gonna read it, this is a quote. What first began as a tongue-in-cheek campaign to engage new audiences with preparedness messages has proven to be a very effective platform. We continue to reach and engage a wide variety of audiences on all hazard preparedness via zombie preparedness. So what this means basically is that a U.S. government office is now using clickbait to get you to go to their website. Now, I don't know if that qualifies as fake news, but I guess you gotta say the good news is we now know that zombies don't exist so we can sleep well. Or can we? When I posted the question, are zombies real, on my YouTube community page, some of you guys made some very good points. A lot of people, like President of YouTube, asked, if zombies are not real, then why do we talk about them? Aiden Fives pointed out there's a new drug that literally turns people into zombies. Jordi Perez and OMG They Killed Kenny both reported the poison of the puffer fish can also be used to turn people into zombies. And perhaps the scariest comment of all came from Shamoshis who wrote, it's possible that a new type of virus could go airborne or a failed experiment could escape the lab. Uh, why couldn't the Montauk monster be some, some critter that they were tinkering with that somehow uh, went into the water and got swept by that outgoing tide? Montauk is, uh, is south and east of Plum Island. Uh, why couldn't it be that? Now that I think about it, you know what? We better play this safe and keep an eye on this subject. So I'll tell you what, this is what we're going to do. If you have or you come across any evidence of real live zombies, what I want you to do is email that to me at billschannel at gmail.com and I'll take a look. 
please don't leave links or suggestions in the comment section because really, the only thing that's gonna do is turn me into a zombie running down the street screaming, you're driving me crazy! See you next time. Now, about that video claiming to show hundreds of thousands of ducks stampeding through the streets like some kind of zombie duck apocalypse. That video, it turns out, is real. In Thailand, where this video was shot, ducks are raised as livestock, and these quick-footed quackers are probably being driven to market.